Hello, and welcome to the C Sharp video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to code a basic turn based battle system. Um, so, obviously, in order to do this, make sure you have downloaded and installed C Sharp Express Edition. It can be either 2010 or 2008, it's up to you. Um, anyway, go ahead and open Visual C Sharp and create a new project. Make sure it's a couple like application. Um, you can name this whatever you like, but I'm just going to call it Battle System. Now that it's generated our documents, <coughs> um, we can start and begin coding. Um, now in the main method, we oops, one second. In the main method, we're going to write out our health values and our enemy health values. So let's go ahead and start writing int hp and ehp with a comma in between so we, we don't have to type int twice um, also later on we're going to need to check for string input values um, this would be our main cause of obviously input into our application so now with our health values and our enemy health values or our box holders, as I like to call them. Um, we need to set them equal to something. So for HP, let's set it to 10. For our enemies HP, let's set it to 5. Um, now, in order for this battle engine to work, we need to have a continuous loop constantly checking if either our, our HP value is greater than 0 or theirs is. So to do this, obviously, you just create a new while, and you're going to want to put HP is <coughs> greater than zero, and we're also going to check if the enemy HP is greater than zero. And go ahead and close that off, and you open the bracket, <coughs> and you can just make a closing one. I do it because sometimes I do forget. <coughs> so now. Um, in our main loop, we can start drawing out the basic GUI. So, add a new line, and it gives it more readability. And underneath of here, <coughs> we're going to have our status of our health and the enemy health. Also add a new line break in there. Again, just for readability. So console.run line and our HP value. Now this little <coughs> open back in in zero and close bracket, it'll take whatever value this is and input it in here. And pretty much replace it with it. Um, so anyway, go ahead and write our enemy values <coughs> and after this also going to add a new line break um, for now we're going to write console dot write and make sure it's not write line otherwise um, when you go to type in your input it'll be on the next line below instead of on the line so now that we have our basic GUI written up, we can go ahead and check for input um, using input equals console.read line. Now, <coughs> what this is saying is the, um, the program will halt until input is given a value. And when it is, the console will read it, and then it will go through our if statements, and it'll check if input equals mm, punch so we're going to want to punch our enemy and if our you know input has the same amount of text you know has the same written text it will um, go ahead and execute this little block of code so we're going to want to clear the console and we're going to want to write on our line, you 
punch the enemy or something. Um, then we're going to want to subtract damage values that we've done to him. So the enemy HP is minus 1. Or minus equals 1. Now, it wouldn't be fair for the enemy. So let's go ahead and write them a retaliation to us. And the enemy, mm, I don't know, he attacks back. So just write the enemy, attacks back. Now our HP is going to be minus 1. Now, <clears throat> let's say we want to add another move. We'll just write else if input equals mm, kick. Um, same thing again. We're going to want to clear the console. And then we're going to want to write on our line, um, you kick the enemy. And then we're going to want to subtract, uh, let's make it more powerful, make it three. Now, again, let's make sure the enemy hits us back so it's fair. Enemy attacks back. <clears throat> and let's subtract one. So now that we have our two basic moves that we can type, um, we can we have to add our last else statement. This will check for any, like if our input doesn't equal kick or punch, this will catch in a way our mistake of input. So to do this, all we'd have to do is write, obviously console.write line invalid input, make a new line. And obviously when we type in something wrong, nothing will happen. And it'll go back to the main loop. Um, so now pretty much this is basically it. This small little block of coding. Um, so we can go ahead and run it. And this is our simple battle engine or system. Depends on what you want to call it. Um, if we put in a random value it will say obviously invalid input. The program will not crash. Uh, if you did not put in the last else statement, the program would crash if it didn't find punch. And obviously when we do, we uh, damage the enemy and we get hit back. Or kick. You know, we can kick him and do damage to him. If we accidentally type like kick with two eyes, this again will have an invalid input and no damage will be subtracted. Um, but if we finish the enemy off, then our program closes. The it, it closed because the while loop ended. The enemy HP was below zero. So now this exit out through here. And since there's nothing after, the program just closes. You can, if you wanted later on, maybe added a little if statement of checking if your health is greater than zero when the program closed and if it is then you won the battle or you can check if the enemy HP value is greater than zero then you lost obviously um, and you know if you wanted you can add much much more to this small little coding like maybe even random damage values or a hit chance to have a chance to hit the enemy and miss. Um, if many people like this tutorial, I may further even expanding it by going in more depth with more coding. Um, thanks for watching, and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.